Hello everyone and welcome back. When it comes to getting creative, Destiny can offer quite a bit to the user with the right setup in mind. So today's video is going to cover a build we did quite a while back that combines the effect of Strand and Solar into one to create a hybrid subclass, if you may. Utilizing Mindspun to enhance our Polaris Lance effect via final blows is the most easiest way of suspending targets in a short amount of time and I'm going to show you just how effective this primary weapon is for Season 23. Infinite Suspend, 3 Scorch Recognition Effects, Fast Grenade and Melee Regen, and Great Ad Claim AoE is definitely going to be a hit for those who enjoy using their primary weapon a lot. So, start with Aspects, we have Weaver's Call, where casting a Rift will produce 3 Fedlings and deploy any Fedlings on you. You then want Mindsman Implication to enhance your grenades. Mindspun Invocation is where the build will excel the best in, as this combined with Solo Incandescent Weapon of your choosing means that you can combine the two to trigger a Solo Suspend effect in all its glory. From here, expanding on your weapon's damage and improving your strand's effect will also help with making the build feel more comfortable. For Fragments, Thread of Evolution, where threadings travel further and do more damage. Thread of Warding, where picking up a mobile power grants Woven Mel. Thread of Generation, where DN damage generates grenade energy. And Thread of Continuity, where Suspend, Unravel, and several effects duration are increased. Having Thread of Continuity is a must for the build, as we want to make sure that suspending all targets can last as long as possible, while also making use of the Scorch damage being applied over time. This here will allow us to suspend a group, Scorch them, and then trigger a Ignition for further large scale damage. Additionally, further generation will give us a big boost of grenade energy back over time and warding will allow us to increase our damage reduction by 60%. The last slot would then go towards the further evolution as we want to make sure that we have a mid-range attack that can deal with enemies we are not able to deal with up close and personal. For mods and stats, we both have our recovery and discipline at a tier 10 so we can make use of our threadlings and shackle grenade regen speed. Recovery at tier 10 will grant us a 48 second rift cooldown for using and activating our aspect, Weaver's Call. With the high usage of rifts being made available, it will allow us to at least have a quick way to heal outside of using our additional mods or relying on solar or void users to heal us back over time. At the same time, threadlings are going to be great when applied towards suspended targets as they can deal with the more heavy hitting enemies that we may not be able to take out or react in time. It's recommended to have at least one mod available to support the following. So having the focusing strike will aid us with generating rift energy slightly faster. And since Dawn Cores provides us with a 6.25% of melee energy upon scorching, we can retain this one mod strength for as long as possible. Discipline, we have ours at tier 10 for a 1 minute 16 grenade cooldown via shackle grenades. The following cooldown is quite high, although we can easily reduce this down to about 50 to 40 seconds with what we are running. Having further generation will help with the legwork of supporting this one stat as you actively play, and is recommended for the 90% of the builds in game. Then having grenade kickstart for the 34.4% energy regen, and innovation for the 10% via ores pickup will allow the build to regen its grenade at a much faster pace. You don't need to have a lot with the following build, as thankfully, Strand Subclass is quite generous with his one fully functioning fragment. Now this next section covers the additional mods and armor charges. For armor charges, we have Charged Up, which is going to be giving you a plus one to charge stacks, while also having stacks and stacks will allow you to collect two orbs of power instead of one. Next, having the Solar Cypher mod, Powerful Attraction, and Reaper mod will allow us to both create orbs of power and collect them while using a Rift. Lastly, having Proximity Ward mod will help with providing an additional 200 overshield when doing a finisher, while having Heavy Ammo Finder, Scavenger and Reserves mod will make full use of the Heavy of choice here. Now, lastly for the weapons being used will be the Polaris Lance, which has seen a huge increase of usage with thanks to seasonal mods. Polaris is quite a strong weapon to use when you want to solo a boss safely with just a primary in mind, and although its DPS isn't the greatest, its capability of inflicting consistent damage over time makes it hard to avoid not using it. Pairing this with Dawn Chorus and seasonal mods such as Flint Striker and Killing's Trigger allows our build to go from a mid solo build to a high solo slash strand build with great reach. At the same time, the build is flexible with solo weapons of option, 
so you can keep using the following or use another solo weapon as long as it has reach and inflict scorched damage such as sky burners that has a really good area of control or prometheus lens that can stay consistent in terms of damage and area of control we then have circular logic machine gun with hatching and envious assassin which pairs well with the build usage of threadlings this will be helpful as a close to mid-range weapon for tackling mini bosses and quickly taking out champions once stunned. The hatching and origin trait does act as a damage boost when they do proc, which makes it suitable to be used against bosses as well, but only when they do proc. Outside of anything else, it's not going to be a boss slayer, but it will put up a good fight when given the chance. The Suspend Strand Warlock is already quite a powerful build that players tend to use when they want to shut down certain encounters quickly and efficiently. And by adding Fellings to the mix, you can become a one-man army with a ton of firepower. However, upon getting creative and applying Dawn Chorus with a solo weapon of choice in the mix, you get a more redefined suspend build that is capable of inflicting more damage the longer the target stays up. This combo of sort is no secret to the community who like to experiment when given the chance, but in terms of seeing it out in the open, it doesn't get a lot of viewership until now. Now, we have covered this build before, which I want to say two seasons back, and I explained that the build is capable of being used in the endgame because of its flexible nature of grabbing a bunch of enemies in one go and then destroying them straight after, without the need of a super or heavy. Since this season has seasonal mods designed for enhancing solo weapons damage, this is quite honestly the perfect time to equip and use for 90% of the content we have as of now but it does add up the longer and consistent you be with the build in mind. Take our approach of using Polaris Lance with Kindling Trigger, Flint Striker, and Razor Precision upon a mixed group of enemies. Upon using Mind Spun to activate our Suspend effect, not only will you be able to suspend any target after a final blow, but using the following weapon with mods will also grant us Radiant, extra Scorch and Ignitions, on top of the Dawn Cause effect of granting more Scorch and additional mini energy upon return, and then of course, Firefly as well. Also, to keep in mind is that since Polaris has an easy to understand feedback loop, you can keep an ongoing routine of damage and suspend by timing your third and fourth shots, etc. Using two key components is all you need to make this work, and then from there, you can add or take away from the subclass and mods chosen like shown. But the build itself is easy to understand and great with inflicting high damage in short time frame, while also keeping the user safe. We improved upon the build quite a bit since the old version relied more on the rocket launcher of choice for the heavy lifting, but as the options have now expanded drastically, we can use weapons that have a greater impact when paired with the subclass and aspect chosen. All in all, give this build a try for this season before it's too late. So there we have it, I hope you all enjoyed the build breakdown. If you have any thoughts on content shared, then please leave a comment below. While at the same time, if you enjoy the content and want more of these videos in the future, then leave a like and sub while here. I will leave a dim link for the build below. And if you want more stuff like this, then I have a playlist available covering all types of builds you may like. It was great sharing today's video with you all, and I hope to see you again soon.